It's about harnessing the power within and becoming a superhero, both in the dojo and in everyday life. Hello everyone, I'm Tim, and welcome back to our channel where we explore the exciting world of karate and the wisdom of its founders. Today, we're going to delve into the 19th precept of Gichin Funakoshi, the father of modern karate and the message behind it. The 19th precept says, do not forget control of the dynamics of power, the elasticity of your body and the speed of the technique. If you're like me, when you first heard this, you were a little confused. I thought karate was just about learning how to throw punches and kicks. But as I delved deeper, I discovered that it's so much more than that. It's about becoming a better person, learning how to harness the power within, move with fluidity and react with speed and precision. It's like a personal development program with a side of martial arts. And who wouldn't want that, right? Let's start with power, the first part of the preset. See, it's not about being as strong as the Hulk but about control. Harnessing the power inside of you and using it in the most efficient way and effective way possible. A great example of this is Sensei Kato, an old karate master from Okinawa. A young man asked him to train him in karate, eager to become as powerful as Sensei Kato. The old master agreed on one condition, that the young man must learn about true power. Sensei Kato taught the young man that true power is not about brute strength, but control and discipline. Pay attention. This comes back later. He showed the young man how to focus his energy and strike with precision and speed. The young man was amazed. He never thought about power this way before. He trained with Sensei Kado, learning to control his power and move with fluidity and grace. And like a true superhero, he went on to become a powerful and respected karate master, never forgetting the lessons he learned from Sensei Kado. But what about when you're not facing off against an opponent? How does this power translate into everyday life? Well, let me tell you, when you learn to control your power in karate, you'll find that you have more control in every aspect of your life. See, I told you it will come back. It's like having a superpower. Now, let's focus on the second part of the equation, elasticity. Think about it. Have you ever watched in awe as Spider-Man swings across the city or Catwoman slings through the shadows with fluid grace? That's the kind of flexibility and agility that karate demands. And it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get there. Take my friend Gert for example. He was determined to improve his elasticity and spent hours stretching and practicing. And you know what? It paid off. He may not have been the strongest kicker, but his movements were so fluid, it was like watching a superhero in slow motion. Gert's flexibility and agility not only made him a better karateka, but it also made him more confident in his daily life. Just imagine being able to touch your toes with ease or having the flexibility to slip into tight spaces like Catwoman. Yeah, that's the power of elasticity in karate. Now, ready to unleash some superhuman speed? Well, that's exactly what the third part of the Funakoshi precept is all about. Speed is key in karate, not just about delivering a powerful punch or a high kick. It's about doing it with lightning fast reflexes and precision, just like the Flash or Quicksilver. But don't be fooled, having speed is not enough. You also need control and discipline, again. Without control, you find yourself making mistakes missing your targets and leaving yourself open to counterattacks. That's why Funakoshi emphasized the importance of combining speed with control and elasticity. So how do you achieve this superhuman speed? It starts with practice. A lot and a lot of practice. You need to train your body to react quickly and instinctively, like a predator hunting its prey. And it's not just about physical training, Mental training is just as important. You need to train your mind to be quick and decisive, to react without thinking, to see the openings and take advantage of them. With practice, you'll develop lightning fast reflexes and you'll be able to react in a split second to any situation, whether it's in the dojo or in real life. You'll be able to dodge the incoming attacks and respond with lightning speed and precision. Now, in conclusion, the 19th precept of Funakoshi is about so much more than just learning how to punch and kick. It's about becoming a better person, learning to control your power, move with fluidity and react with speed and precision. It's about harnessing the power within and becoming a superhero, both in the dojo and in everyday life. So let's get started on our journey to unlock our inner superhero. If you like what you see here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, Thanks for watching.